It's a brilliantly engineered fish. Compact and muscular, the piranha's distinctive head shape allows for it to thrust its short, powerful jaws forward on the attack. The piranha's teeth are precisely occluded and so sharp that Indian weavers once used the jaws as scissors. These caribe have exhausted their food supply and there's nothing left for them to do except wait for the rains. Above this endgame struggle for survival, from dawn until dusk, the relentless sun continues to burn off water. Every day, the shoreline loses precious inches. If the rains don't return soon, the sun will slam close the gates to this death trap. Nearby, other pools have already dried up. The signposts of death are everywhere. As the pool shallows, the heat exhausts the oxygen in the water. The water temperature is rising. Soon the water itself will smother life in the lagoon. There is nowhere for these piranha to swim. For them, relief will not come soon enough, and in two days either they'll become a meal for the thousands of birds that feast upon the dying fish, or their bodies will bake in the relentless Amazonian sun. But even as these vultures feast on the luckless piranha, so the balance will tip, and in a few months, those that rule today will come to be ruled. As the rainy season returns, the shallow bowl that was dusty Llanos is now filled with water. Those few that survived the death pools have been reprieved. A new stream of life washes in from the rivers and fans out into reclaimed territory. Life explodes in the Llanos as hundreds upon hundreds of species of birds return to their nesting grounds. Herons and storks brood in nests that overhang the water. Below, a congregation of caiman and piranha wait for the inevitable clumsy chick to fall out of the nest. This young bird was nearly fully grown and ready to fly. By some misadventure, however, it fell into the water and was devoured immediately by the piranha. The same birds that fed upon the hapless piranha a few months ago now give up their young to them. So the ledger balances as prey once again becomes predator.